was just trying to keep my feet on the ground. Just trying to keep my feet on the ground. Just trying to keep my feet on the ground. Thank you. We've got, a, we've got a real super show coming up for you. My guests are Joey Covington of the Jefferson Harris Airplane, Otis Blackwell, and Ethan James and Aaron Kenny. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. of interesting acts on the show, but uh, did you ever stop to think about how we find them? Well, today we're going to take you behind the scenes and show you how one group made their American debut on our show. Hey, Bruce, we're going to have a great show this week. I mean it. I got Boris Bender and his Scottish bagpipe ensemble, the Lester and Fester Jug Band, and dig this, the Flying Enchilada Sisters, and they're all confirmed. It's going to be swell. Yeah, I'll see you at the tape. Yeah, I'll see you at the taping. Right. Okay. Great. Bye. Okay. Hello. Who's this? What? Juanita? Oh no! It's Juanita from the Flying Enchilada Sisters. Hey, Juanita, listen, calm down. Isn't there anything you can do? I mean, we're taping in three days. You, you guys have been all over, all over the newspapers and everything. Everybody's coming down to see you. Isn't there anything you can do? Oh, that's terrible. Damn, we're shooting in three days. The main group just canceled out. I gotta find somebody. I know I gotta find somebody. Let me check the Rolodex. Oh boy. Aboriginal Productions, no, they're not gonna help. Danny Block, theatrical agent, no, he's just got magicians and jugglers. Let's see. Hey, 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 that's the answer. Marvin LaRue, musical booking agent. He's sleazy, but he's usually got some good groups on hand. I'm gonna give him a buzz. Oh, Marvin, you can do it. I know you can do it. Pick up the phone, Marvin. Marvin LaRue, what can I do for you? Marvin, hey, this is Smokey from the Smokey Miles Music Hour. How you doing? Smokey, how are you? Listen, man, there's something that I want to ask you. We're taping the show in three days. My uh, main act just canceled out. They, they got visa problems. They're stuck in Mexico. Can you get me a group by Monday to be on the show? A good group, Marvin. Smokey, they don't call me Marvin the Magician for nothing. I got one of the best for you. The most exciting talents to emerge in the history is showbiz. A group that's going straight, straight to the top. A group with a following like you've never seen before, rivaling the emergence of the Beatles in Hamburg. Cut the BS, Marvin. Who you got? Uh, I got a trio from the Middle East. They just finished the sold-out tour of Riyadh, Bahrain, and Beirut. They both played every village in the West Bank. They all had been shot at twice, not yep. even automatic weapons. They're ready for your show, Smokey. I was going to call you about them now. Yeah, but by Monday, Marvin, by Monday. Monday, Monday, no problem. I'll put them in a call right now. They'll be on the plane tonight, guaranteed. You guarantee it, Marvin? You guarantee it? Smokey, you always kept in touch with me, and I'll always keep in touch with you. All right, I, I, I know I can count on you, right? And no problem. What's their name? Faye, Abdullah, and Fatima. You will love them. 
Smokey, they'll be there Monday. Have I ever let you down? Bye bye. Okay, thanks, Marvin. Smokey Miles. <laughs>
Thank you. Monty Paul, we got Cotton Ken over there on keyboards and play with the Spinners and the Delphonics and the OJs. And we got Stevie Beckmeyer toured with Billy Preston and Bonnie Bramlett and God knows how. I'll, and we got Panama back here on drums. Man. Thank you, Panama. Yeah, we're going. Bobby, what should we do here? One more? He's getting a massage, so we might as well just. Uh, do our song Pretty As You Feel, which I wrote for the airplane in 1971, it was a hit for him. And uh, this song I wrote about people who feel low self-esteem in themselves and so forth. And, and I was feeling real bad when I wrote this song, so I decided to make it into a pretty song. Turn it around a little bit. It's called You're Only Pretty As You Feel. Take it, Cotton. Stevie. <laughs> Sleep from your eyes, yeah. Look inside your mirror, baby. Yeah. Don't give no vanity a second look now. No, no, no. Beauty is only skin deep, baby. It goes. Just so far calls You're only pretty as you feel Yes you are girl You're only pretty as you feel inside You're only pretty as you feel Yes you are Only pretty as you feel inside So don't hang yourself up on no plastic face No, no, no a little bit of love will wipe away any grief. So don't hang yourself up, baby. No, no, no. Ha, ha, ha. Beauty's only skin deep now, baby. Yeah, it goes. Silly girl, don't let nobody stand in your place. Oh, just do what you got to do, yeah. Cause I'm gonna tell you, feeling good is no disgrace. Cause you're only pretty as you feel. Yes, you are. You're feeling so pretty You're feeling pretty I'm feeling so pretty I'm feeling pretty I'm feeling so pretty I'm feeling pretty I'm feeling so pretty Ah, oh, hey girl I'm glad you came 
him to sing with me tonight. Feels so good, yeah. Cause you're pretty and you make me feel good inside. Just standing next to you, and that's the way it works, folks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bonnie Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Cotton Kent. Stevie Beckmeyer from Panama. Hey, thank you, Joey. <laughs> thank you, Joey. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah. Hey, man, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Jefferson Starship. Next subject. Okay. Uh, no, well, well you, you, you formed the, uh, helped to form the Jefferson Starship. The original band, yeah. The original yeah. band. And also Hot Tuna. Yeah. Now, how did that come about? Well, Yarma Jack and I decided to form a band called and you might believe this, but it was called Hot Shit. And the DJs wouldn't play the music, so we called it Hot Tuna. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Smell the fish, oh baby. They probably yeah. will. Now, you, you brought um, Papa John Creech. I did. To the original band. How did that happen? Uh, met Papa John at the Union. I looked at this old black violin player, and I said, what are you doing there? And he goes, I'm just looking at the Union wall here for a job. And I said, I'd sure like to have come you play, have you come and play with me, basically. And uh, we put a band together, didn't work, so we made a deal. He said, if you make it, if I make it first, I'll call you. You make it first, you call me. And I called him, pretty much. And that's what happened. Now, yeah. now, what are you doing now? You're you're very busy right now, doing uh, putting a new band together. Yeah, we got Stevie, the fellas you just heard. Uh, we're getting ready to do. Uh, uh, what is it, Lauren? Help me. Wait a minute. Got my notes. It's on my He's got his notes right my, here. It's on my Otis Blackwell card. It says I'm we're getting ready to do a tour of Europe, uh, the Jim Thorpe longest run from London to Moscow. That's right. That's with the uh, the uh, sacred run with the Indians. Yeah, Dennis Banks, and uh, as you know, uh, it's their form of prayer, the, the American Indians when they run. And it's basically trying to help the planet because we know it's all in trouble here. And we've got it through music and I think through goodwill and running and prayer and through the Indian thing. Uh, I think that uh, we might help save it, Bobby. So you uh, go. Uh, I, 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 I hope so. Mm. Are you going to be running? No, I'm going to be playing. He's going to be playing. That's Joey Covington. Thanks a lot, Joey, for, right, Bobby. for being Me here. Too, man. Right. When we come back, when we come back, we're going to see one of the legends of rock and roll, Otis Blackwell. So yeah. stay tuned. All right, man. Yeah. That's real. Don't go, don't go. Ah, oh, Smokey, you finally flipped your wig. I mean, you're telling me this booking agent called and he's going to book us an Arabian trio by Monday night? He guaranteed it, Bruce. Oh, you'll go for anything. Well, they're supposed to be good. Oh, that's what you said about the Fiji Five. And these guys came on the set beating themselves with sticks. Well, that was different. And, I mean, and what about the Kazoo Band? I mean, these guys suck. Listen, they were from France, and at least they didn't have to tune up. All right, all right, all right. You win, you win. All I know is these guys, I don't care where they're from, they better be here on time, in costume, with music, ready to go. Let me, let me know this. Uh, where you got them? Where, where, are they, where, where were they going to be staying? Bruce, listen. First of all, don't worry about a thing. They'll be here. They're going to play the show. It's going to be great. And I thought, well, maybe they could stay at your house. It's okay? Arabian crude is good here. Ah, it. much it's oil. Beautiful. Ah, it's a good business for us. Woman, you stay there. Look, many people. Look, yeah. Woman, it's beautiful. Look, 
Okay. Now we have to find the driver. 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 Because uh, they, they told us we would have a driver to take us to the show. Limo, limo, limo. Like we have in Saudi Arabia. Maybe. Where's the driver? Ah, driver. over there. Ah, driver. Over there. Ah, I see him. Come on. Come on. Yalla, yalla. Yes. Yalla, over there. Let's I go. See. Ah, driver with the. Uh, yes. Oh, 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 stop it. I see. Over there. Oh, yes. For us, Cadillac. Oh, we promise you. Cadillac will nice deliver. Done. I like it. Oh, I like oh, it. Like this. Hey. The oh. You must be the driver for us. Yes, sir. I am Faid. Hello, sir. This I is am Abdullah. 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 And uh, this one for the It's Fatima, but don't worry. She, she is excited for Please. being here. Step inside. Come, come on. Come on. Bring her in. Put her in. Come on. Allow me, dear. I brought good Japanese keyboard to America. Uh, yeah, because good. maybe they don't have what we need, but we will play good. I tell you. I like, I like this. I like this. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> and your destination, gentlemen. Yeah, you take right. us to the, the place for yes. the show. I, Bro, I know. Hey. It's good flight too, you know. We, um, only got hijacked twice. Yes. It's good. You know that, my friend? Yes, sir. Only, only, only two twice. Times. Two times we were hijacked. Tunisia was good. Tunisia, good place. Okay. Things like that in the Middle East. No, no. It's, but Los Angeles is, is America. It's beautiful. It's big. Maybe, Very big. Maybe we sell lots of records and build a building like this in the Middle East. You know, I tell you something, Abdallah. You tell me. I, after we play this gig, I will go to the bank. I will collect the, the money that is due to us, and I will buy a big building. Smoky Bay, good, huh? Yes, Smoky, Smoky Bay. Bay. Bay good. Uh, the woman. That's what the agent told me. If uh, I want to talk about big breath, I don't know. The woman in coming your place. In your place, woman. In your place, woman. Blow bubbles. Blow bubbles. In your Red place. bubbles. Give her bubbles. I can't believe it. Oh, These women, they like it's to good. Play. We just bring one. Where are we now? Where are we? Mr. Driver, where Mr. are we now? Mr. Driver. Sir, I'm taking you to the mayor's office. The mayor? Yes, you have a luncheon there at 5. Santa Monica at 7. What time is the gig? Gig. Gig around uh, what, 10 o'clock or? Do we have sound check? Sound check. I don't know. Sound I, check. I don't care. Yeah, really. sound check. What, but uh, Payet, yes. what shall we play? What shall we play? Uh, what shall we play? This is a good question, Abdallah. Um, we, we, maybe some Palestinian ballads. A couple of Palestinian ballads. <laughs> What more can I say about my next guest except that everybody in the whole wide world knows his songs. He wrote Don't Be Cruel, All Shook Up, Great Balls of Fire, Return to Sender, Handyman, Breathless, Fever, and the list goes on. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otis Blackwell, the king of rock and roll. <laughs> I can't be found Sitting home all alone Really, if you can't come around At least please telephone Don't be cruel To a heart so true hmm. Baby, if I made you mad For something that I might have said Please let's forgive the past The future looks bright ahead Don't be cruel a heart so true. Well, I don't want no other love. Baby, it's just you I'm thinking. 
thinking of. <laughs> Don't stop thinking of me. Don't make me feel this way. Come on over here and love me. You know what I want you to say. Don't be true to a heart so true. Say, girl, why should we? Cross my heart Don't be cruel To a heart so true Don't be cruel To a heart so true Well, I don't want no other love Maybe is this you I'm thinking of It's such a, a real thrill and a pleasure to have you here tonight. I'm not even going to get into that. You're not going to get into it? Not at all. <laughs> but it is. It is. You know, I wanted to ask you about the uh, Brill Building days and what it was like being a writer when you started out and wrote all those great songs. Well, it was hard. It was very hard. But we had fun doing it. At least I did. Uh, uh, it's much different today than it is then. What's, what's the difference? Well, today they don't want to pay the writers in advance money. You see. Uh, also, uh, which is better today than it wasn't then, you've got a lot of organizations that protect your songs if you join the organization, mm -hmm. such as the Songwriters uh, Association, which everyone who is anyone in the business uh, that rights should join. Uh, it's just an altogether different thing, you know, see? Mm -hmm. uh, with the tapes and the, everything is uh, mechanical now, you know? Yeah. Now, you, you know what? You, you, I heard that you discovered Jerry Lee Lewis. Is that true? No, I didn't discover Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis was always the killer long before I met him. But you, you wrote Great Balls of Fire for him. Great Balls of Fire and Breathless. Uh, it has something to do with a song that uh, I discovered him in Brooklyn and I took a record to uh, some people that was doing a movie for him. Uh, they had called me a musical director. I was a musical director, you didn't know that. Oh, so. I, I didn't know you. And uh, I had to find some artists and I found a record in a record store in Brooklyn, New York. I must have gone through about 200 records and about this about 250 I found one record that I thought this guy should be in a movie and it was Jerry Lee <laughs> and that was that was the beginning of Jerry Lee's career that was the beginning mm -hmm. now you recently got elected into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time what what was that like did they was there a ceremony uh, at that place well, I had a friend who had invited me to Nashville. I've been going down there for the last 20 years, back and forth, but I would only stay uh, two or three days. And then I had a friend that invited me down to stay a week. And when I got down there, it was a surprise. They had put me into their Hall of Fame. And I've been down there ever since, off and on. Yeah. 
So what, what have you been doing down in Nashville? You keep very, very busy down there. Well, I've started a little small record company, and I've been producing. Uh, I've got about seven acts now that I produce, and I'm hoping somebody will buy. And you got your own album coming out, right? I you played me some of it, and and it's about time that's got to come out, and and people will know you as a singer, not just as a writer. Well, it isn't that I really. Uh, 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 I guess I want to go back into performing again. Uh, I figured, gee, I've cut six albums on six different artists, so I figured I might as well do one on myself. Yeah. Why not? Well, let's look for it in the stores and all over the place. Otis. <laughs> Any kind of, who wrote what? Who wrote? I didn't hear you. Here, let's, let's. Who was the first that wrote rock and roll? Yeah. I, I don't understand. You mean the song rock and roll? Yeah. Oh, oh, what song are you talking about? Rock and roll. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I don't understand. You, you mean, uh, is the name of the song is rock and roll? Yeah. No, I, 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 no, I really couldn't tell you that. The Mills Brothers. The Mills Brothers? Oh, well, then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Otis. Hey, Otis, are you good? Oh, oh. What? Oh, well, I know the Mill Brothers. I, will, I go back to 34, too, now. <laughs> I thought you meant a song titled Rock and Roll. <laughs> Otis, um, I know that you, you've got to get going because you, you're real busy, but would you sing yes, another sir. song for us? Let's do some. Yeah, the Journey. Yeah, Let's man. Let's do the Killer song. All right. <laughs> so go. Great Balls of Fire. Let's see if we get this <laughs> one, two, three. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much love can drive a man insane. You broke my will, but what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I left the love because I thought it was funny. Girl, you came along and you moved me, honey. I changed my mind. Love you like no other lover could. You're fine, so kind. I wanna tell the world that you're mine, mine, mine. I do. My nails and I twiddle my thumb. I twiddle my thumb. I twiddle my thumb. Hey, baby, I be crazy. I love you like no other lover could. You're fine, so oh, kind. I want to tell the world that you're mine, mine, mine. I do. My nails and I twiddle my thumb. I twiddle my thumb. I twiddle my thumb. Hey, baby, drive me crazy. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Who's that now? Otis Blackwell. We'll be right back.
she, she will be very rich someday. And then after the show, we go to our friend Abdul. Uh, uh, Abdul. 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 <laughs> Abdul. The last time I saw Abdul. My hero. The last time I saw Abdul, he was uh, in a tent outside Riyadh. Uh, I remember that. He had uh, just come in from a ride in the desert. He found oil well. Oil well. Like you could not believe it. By accident. I'm telling you, Abdallah, by accident, he is so rich. The son of a god has many, many oil wells now. Yeah. He has at least 17 wives. And we go to his mansion in Bel Air. And, and we... Ah, 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 the party! Ah, 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 let me tell you something. Abdul is known in the United States as one of the best party givers oh, yes. any place. And you know what he say? He say, he, uh, have you ever seen a blonde with big breasts? I have never seen one. Have you? He will show us one. Show us. <laughs> hey, woman, what? In your place. She is jealous. I am telling Rightfully you. Rightfully so. She is not a blonde and she doesn't have big breasts. <laughs> hey, woman, read your paper, blow your bubbles, be good. Just behave yourself. We are now in the United States. You must act is more civilized. Where are you taking us, driver? Where now? Too long. Sir, I'm yours for the weekend, wherever you want to go. You have that appointment with the mayor, as you know. And the mayor. What is the name of the they mayor? They expect you at the luncheon. How's oh, the luncheon? I hope. Food. You know you know what? Food. You know what? They oh, promised bubbles, bubbles. the bubbles. Yeah, she's back with the bubbles. Oh. The mayor promised that Today he would have a sheep. Ah. Yes. Hafla. Hafla. Ah. And I'll tell you and something. Then later at Abdul. Ah. Abdul Bhatti. <laughs> my friend, we come to play on the Smoky Show. Where do we go? Okay, step right this way, please. Just go right down this aisle. Come along. I'm here with my next guests, Ethan James and uh, Aaron Kenny, and uh, I wanted to speak to them uh, about acoustic music because that's basically what our show is about. And these folks have that mastered. What, what about acoustic music is it, Ethan, that really makes it for you? Well, I, th I think it's like the reality of it. It's like when you're playing acoustic music, it's like a pretty naked thing. It's just you and the string. You know, there's no, uh, you know, choruses or delays or anything that that can do anything other than what you really do. You know, and I like that aspect of it, and uh, I just like it. I like the sound of it and the feel the vibration of the wood and all that. Mm -hmm. So that's the natural sound. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what we're about here, and um, <clears throat> I wanted to ask you about some of your influences, because. In the music that you write, uh, you have many different sounds and styles, and, and they come from all over the world, it seems. Yeah, well, our influences are pretty eclectic. We, we listen to a lot of Celtic music, like Irish music, a lot of medieval music, um, blues and jazz, a lot of things, but they just sort of get mixed up in our songwriting, and they come out of something different. But uh, I think there's a lot of influences that, uh, that you can kind of put your finger on, but not really identify. Let's talk about one of them, and that's this instrument here that uh, Aaron is holding. What uh, What is this? Who, who Who's going to tell? Are you going to tell me? I'll okay. tell you. It's a hurdy gurdy. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's fashioned after. We think it's a Flemish hurdy gurdy. We're not sure about 16th century. Um, it's Ethan's. He's and he's going to play it for you. You know, in a few minutes, we have a, a little number that we do with it. Great. Do you, Do you have anything to say about the hurdy gurdy? That, uh uh, it's basically a medieval instrument, and it uh, it kind of crosses over into bagpipe sounds, and uh, I don't know, you'll just have to hear it. We will, and uh, you have a, a terrific new album coming out. I heard some of it. It's great. Uh, tell us about that. 
Well, it's called Aaron Candy and Ethan James, and it's in the stores right now. And uh, if they don't have it, ask for it. <laughs> okay. Aaron Kenny and Ethan James, they're going to sing for us a song called Winds of Change. Winds of Change. Ophelia wears a shadow to the rubber rodeo. All dressed up in nylons with no other place to go. While the boys up in the castle in their polyester vests are putting out their cigarettes on one another's chest. Everybody's feeling it, this wind of change. To some it is pleasure, to some it is pain. From the silence it will rise, to the silence it will go. From that special heart of darkness that we all have come to know. While the boys are in their high heels, sharpening up their sticks. Reading out loud from the book of love through a pair of leather lips. Everybody's feeling it, this wind of change. To some it is pleasure, to some it is pain. Breathe in deep these welcome winds of change. Let the old order fall as we dance on its grave. As it blows from the mountains and across the seas, we wear necklaces of skulls and wings made of dreams. As the crowd begins to go, she is sprinkling their ashes with the petals of a rose. Everybody's feeling it, this wind of change. To some it is pleasure, to some it is pain. Everybody's feeling it, this wind of change. As the wheel of life turns once again. Now we're going to pull out the hurdy gurdy. Let's hope it's still in tune. for this task. In this case, his intended victim was a 20-year veteran on the brink of retirement. Well, you could kiss that pension goodbye. Finally, the elevator door opened, and Brooks found himself staring face to face with a full life-sized specter of death. Not some vague sense of foreboding or ominous feeling, no. It was the Grim Reaper himself. Granted, he was dressed in a three-piece suit, sans sickle, but there was no mistaking those hollow eyes, the clammy pallor, or the smell of sulfur. Both were startled by this unexpected encounter and were speechless. 
Brooks, however, recovered first. He turned and ran down 60 flights of stairs and exited in the street, caught a cab, went straight to his travel agent, pulled out his gold card, and caught the next plane to Club Med in Acapulco. to the CEO's office, walked right past the secretary and paid a visit to the old man. The old man was very pleased to see his good friend Death. They had, after all, come to know each other quite well through the years. The old man bust his secretary, had her hold all his calls, and he poured two drinks, one for himself and one for his friend Death. conversation was quite amicable, and Death remarked, I just ran into that lackey of yours, you know, Brooks. Well, you can imagine my surprise at seeing him here. You see, I have an appointment with him at the Club Med in Acapulco tomorrow. Thank you. All right, have you got the camera ready? These camel jockeys are almost out here. We've got to get a good interview. All right, I'll do a quick stand-up. This is Alec Murdoch reporting from Abdul's mansion in Bel Air. We're about to interview Faid and his group, the musical sensation from the Middle East, making their American debut. Here they come now. Mr. Faid, Mr. Faid, Alec Murdoch from the American Press. I'd like to ask oh. you a few quick questions, if we may. Yes, Alec, but uh, please, Faid to you. Uh, same to you. Please. First of all, has the volatile situation in the Middle East affected your music at all? Oh, yes, uh, we are deeply into uh, social protest. I see. And what American groups have influenced your style the most? Mm. Uh, we, we like uh, the music of uh, Peter, Ball and Mary, and uh, lately we listened uh, much to Gums and Noses. Uh, I see, a wide range of groups. Well, well, right? Lately, also, a lot of uh, Bola Abdul, we find. Oh, yes. You're a black woman. Bola, Bola is our cousin. We like the music of uh, Bola Abdul. Well, that makes a lot of sense, sure. One last question. How would you characterize your music? Well, Alec, uh, we are not folk music. Not uh, what? Not folk. F uh, not not f no, we are not folk music. Yeah, we are not. You mean uh, like folk singers? Yeah, we are not this. Oh, no, I no. see. Okay. And uh, neither are we uh, hard rock. Uh, we are more like uh, heavy oil music. Oh, sort of like yeah. crude. Yes, uh, crude. 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 Yes, yeah, the people like this. Well, thank you very much, Faid. It's been great meeting you. Oh, it's a and uh, yes, Pleasure, indeed. Alex. And thank you. Uh, oh, no, no. oh, I'm no, no. I'm sorry for you. And my dear. <laughs> oh, 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 this is Alec Murdoch with Faid and his group uh, reporting from Bel Air. Maybe I could get your phone number later? No, you a place. Well, <laughs> Thank you. A peace offering. <laughs> got it. Got it. Come listen to my story about a man named Abdul. He was a poor man, but he was no fool. He was riding through the desert looking for food When up from the ground came a bubbling crude Oil that is, black gold, Arabian tea Wahad, Znein, Talati, Arba! Next thing you know, Abdul's a millionaire all his wives are saying, let's move to Bel Air. So they ride the big plane across the sea and buy a 
a mighty mansion in the town of Beverly Hills, that is. Cadillacs, Rolls Royce, pink nude statues in front. Hey! Now Abdul's got three maids who come from Mexico because he owns a lot of sheds of Texaco. The chauffeur drives him all around town All because the oil bubbled out of the ground Arabian crude Arabian crude Arabian crude Arabian crude Arabian crude I want to thank uh, all of you for watching at home, and I want to thank the great audience we had here tonight and The Breakaway for letting us uh, do our show over here. I want to thank my special guests tonight, Otis Blackwell, Joey Covington, Ethan James, and Aaron Kenny, or Aaron Kenny and Ethan James, as the group is called. Look for their new record. It'll be in the stores real soon. And we're going to jam with a song called I Got My Mojo Working. It goes like this. Hand. I'm going down to Louisiana and get me a mojo hand. I'm coming back to my baby. I'm gonna be a mojo man. I got my mojo working. 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 I got my mojo working, but I just don't work on you. Says she said, kill a blood red lamb. Yes, I went to the gypsy. She said, kill a blood red lamb. I go back to you, baby. With that mojo on your hand. I got my mojo working. I got my mojo working. I got my mojo working, but it just don't work on you.